I, I did lie to you. We both vented to each other about how we're feeling about like this whole big shebang. <laughs> Good morning guys. I feel like I never start vlogs with wet hair from the shower, but here we are <laughs> So I figured I would vlog for you guys. I also wanted to show you guys what my skin looks like Like look at this. This is happening the night before our engagement photo shoot So yeah, I am dealing with all this right now. But yeah, I'm kind of annoyed about this But I figured I would point that out and show you guys before putting on my makeup today I want my skin to breathe today before tomorrow. So yeah, we are gonna go get tea right now And then we're gonna go to Bath and Body Works because Mike texted us this morning and was like There's a deal where candles are like $12. He sent us the coupon in the group chat and I was like we gotta go to Bath and Body Works. And Nikki even texted me. She's like, I woke up and suddenly it was fall. And I'm like, yes. So I think Nikki's gonna meet up with us. So without further ado, let's get into the day. Make sure to get your pumpkin spice skincare bundle by me this fall. Everything will be linked down below. I'm sure you guys have noticed a little commercial in this vlog and that's because I'm actually the face of the skincare brand for the fall season. I've actually used these products for a while before we started to work together. But yeah, I'm really excited that we're working together. I'm gonna start my skincare with my pumpkin and spice pumpkin spice jelly cleanser. It looks like this. These products smell better than Bath and Body Works. They also sell these pumpkin scented towels. That smells so good. It's like aromatherapy, I swear. I'm gonna try and get rid of this by the photo shoot tomorrow. Let's see how I do. The consistency is so smooth. I don't want to waste product, so by all means. So this cleanser is very gentle and it's made by plant oils. It smells like pumpkin pie and it definitely helps remove all traces of makeup because you guys know I don't fully trust a makeup wipe. So this is just doing that awesome first step. This is the pumpkin spice facial scrub exfoliator. It looks like this. Honestly, I'm gonna have really high expectations when I go to Bath and Body Works today because <laughs> this stuff smells awesome. Even though the skincare line is called Pumpkin and Spice, there's natural apricot seeds that are being used to exfoliate my skin right now. Oh my god, what? I'm getting rid of that dead skin, so I have a fresh face tomorrow. Oh. <laughs> it's supposed to be like a dry shampoo-y type thing. This is the Pumpkin and Spice under eye cream what it looks like. My face feels so smooth after that exfoliator. Wow. Yeah, I'm just adding some under eye cream. I did not get the best sleep last night. And I probably won't tonight because I forgot to mention we have to drive like four and a half hours to this castle for our photo shoot. That's really exciting. And last but not least, I'm gonna use my moisturizer. My favorite thing about this moisturizer is it's very lightweight and I have combo skin, so my skin goes either way. So if you have like greasy skin or if you have oily skin, like I tend to have sometimes, or dry skin, like I tend to have sometimes, a lightweight moisturizer is the it's the best way to go. Whenever I have dry skin, my makeup like does not stick. I don't know if that makes sense, but um, so I always need moisturizer, but then if I wear too much moisturizer for like a photo shoot, you literally see like shine everywhere, no matter how much I bake. So I've been really loving lightweight moisturizers. I feel like you can see how much those products smooth down the texture of my breakout. I'm ready to go get my tea. So I'm gonna show you everything I got. I got vanilla pumpkin marshmallow, 
Um, I got the Perfect Autumn. It smells woodsy and that's why I love it and it's also pink. So this would look really cute in the skincare lounge. I got white pumpkin. I got white coconut caramel for the bathrooms and then cozy vanilla almond for the kitchen. I got Sunrise Woods body lotion. This smell kind of reminded me of the God is a Woman perfume. On like a piece of paper at the store, it said like the notes were creamy cedarwood, berry, and like, what else? Was it vanilla? I don't know, it was like very similar notes. So I was like, wow, since there's no body lotion for that perfume yet, I'm gonna get this one. <laughs> um, I got a bunch of wall plugs. I got pumpkin pecan waffles, pumpkin clove, and autumn. And then I got Sunrise Woods Body Wash. And then I got just an extra sweet cinnamon pumpkin for the kitchen since we go through the kitchen soap like it's nothing. Shopping at Home Goods for fall decor. I don't plan on decorating until like September, but um, I just want to see what's out. And you know, if I see something I like, then I'll get something. Um, I'm with Carly. You guys know Carly. Hi. She's my future sister-in-law. We already call each other sister-in-laws, though. She's married to Colin's brother. This is like our thing. Like we love going to Home Goods together. I'm just so excited because I feel like I'm finally getting like festive-ish. Even though I don't want summer to end, summer is like my favorite season. I just don't want it to end. But I feel like looking at pumpkin stuff right now is gonna put me in the spirit. Look how cute this is. I love. That. That's gorgeous. Aww. Is this chuggy or is it cute? No, I like it honestly. And look at this that I found. A cute little like shoulder bag with pearls. You should get that one. Oh my god. I want to get these sprinkles. So our dining room is has like this green vibe going on with like that gold couch. So I like this pillow and then I like this pillow and then I like this little like pistachio pumpkin pillow. I want to do this burnt orange blanket for fall on that couch. This is super tempting for the TV room because we only have ceiling lights. Like look how bohemian and adorable they are. ASMR. I think these flowers will look gorgeous in the dining room. These dried fake flowers with like this color scheme. Should I get them? I like how they cinch at the ankle. I'm probably going to get them. <laughs> This smells like freaking heaven, and it's only seven bucks. This would look so cute in my guest bathroom. This smells incredible. This would be so cute in the skincare lounge. These pistachio green sponges and the little applicators. How adorable. So Colin and I just got back from a double date, and I got this dress from Home Goods when I went with Carly tonight. So this is what it looks like. It's so cute. I freaking love this pattern. I had so many bandanas with this pattern growing up. I also got this crystal from Home Goods for a light in the sunroom at night. It's definitely a vibe. I think it's quartz, but correct me if I'm wrong. It's just such a vibe in here in the evening. I ended up getting, I don't know how to pronounce this, but it's chai. I am not even gonna pronounce how to spell it, but it's hair and body mist, and it kind of smells like Nikki's apartment, that's why I got it. So in the dining room, I have my new Bath & Body Works candle going. It smells so good, this is vanilla pumpkin. Actually, no, it's vanilla pumpkin marshmallow. And then over here, I have my home goods haul, but I just wanna show you guys how cozy these pillows are on my gold couch. I freaking love the pistachio green pillow. And then I also got us this candle. It's from Home Goods, and it's Blueberry pumpkin waffle. It smells like heaven. My skin is so oily right now, so please ignore it. But it is so dim in here. I just don't feel like turning on the lights while doing my home goods haul. Got these super fall pajama pants that I showed you guys with like pumpkin spice lattes on them and like cinnamon buns. I got this shirt to wear under like cardigans and sweaters because it has a collar and no buttons and it's a thin material. So I'm not gonna get super sweaty when I wear this under like sweaters. Then I got a tank top like the usual. Honestly, I wear these types of tank tops to bed. So that's kind of why I got this. And I love wearing loungewear. Speaking of loungewear, I'm addicted to like really fuzzy soft loungewear um, so I, I got this Jessica Simpson uh, leopard like this this nude leopard robe for fall I could wear it like a cardigan with like baggy jeans and boots I ended up getting the exfoliating coffee scrub cream vanilla coconut it just smells amazing like I want to eat it so yummy I got these jars that I showed you guys at the store the skincare lounge shelves 
Then I got these like Love Shack Fancy inspired like hair clips for when I'm styling my hair or doing my skincare. I got myself a fuzzy cosmetic headband. You guys know I love Sunday Citizen for like fuzzy blankets and stuff. Like my whole house is Sunday Citizen blankets. This reminds me of it. So comfy, I'm gonna wear it right now. I think I have like Hannah Montana in the first episode when she has this around her head and she has like a pie in her face. I ended up getting these flowers that I showed you guys in the store. They're like fake, but they look like real. Actually, this might be real and dried right here, but there's like some fake flowers like out of wood and stuff. I don't know, it's really cute. So I put it in like my little flower display for now. Before I go, I just wanna show you guys how awesome the pumpkin and spice jelly cleanser works. I don't use makeup wipes because this takes off everything. So, for to use this as like a makeup remover i don't use my spin brush yet even though this is a cleanser i'll go back in with the spin brush to use it as a cleanser but to take off my makeup i just wet my hands and apply it on my face my eyes and it like doesn't burn your eyes at all but it smells so good it, this skincare smells so much better than any of the candles that I got today. <laughs> and then I use a washcloth to go over my face, make sure everything's off. I notice I break out sometimes from uh, makeup wipes because they're so oily and even if you get them oil free it, if you get the makeup wipes oil free like your makeup doesn't come off and if you get the makeup wipes with oil in it it makes your skin so greasy so with combo skin i think a jelly cleanser is just the way to go my skin is so soft right now i am in such a fall spirit this is my favorite product to carry because my skin gets so smooth after using this Guys, look at this. Remember I had cluster acne here? 24 hours using my skincare regimen and it's gone. Then I use my pumpkin spice night serum. I said this on Instagram, but I love how they have daytime products and evening products because I need different skincare at nighttime than I do daytime. I feel like when I wake up, I need something a little more drying and before bed, I need something a little more moisturizing. And then I use my pumpkin and spice, pumpkin spice and night moisturizer. Look at that, it looks like buttercream. And it smells like the frosting on pumpkin spice muffins. Have you guys ever had like a pumpkin muffin? You know, the frosting that comes on it, that's what this smells like. <laughs> it's just so, this skincare regimen is just so amazing. Look at this. I'm so happy to have this bundle collection for fall. And I know you guys know I'm obsessed with skincare. If you guys are interested, you guys can get my bundle. I'll link everything down below. And yeah, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm gonna go brush my teeth and put on my pajamas. But I love you guys so much. I'm gonna end up doing my makeup in the car because I don't want it to get all like crusty. It's a four hour drive, five hour drive. Um, so I'm gonna do it in the car. I have a lot of time on my hands. Wow, these are bouncy curls. I'm getting ready in my vote robe from the company store. Shout out to them.
the castle where we're going to be taking our engagement pictures. Wow. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So I did my own makeup in the car. I'm kind of impressed. Probably mine, honestly. <laughs> Skirt's so pretty. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> I feel so pretty right now. <laughs> This is wow. gorgeous. Do you guys want to see what Colin's wearing? Yeah, I'll show them there. Like, look at this. What does the dress look like in this set? This reminds me of like a 2015 fancy vlog where I was like, I'm a princess for a day. I did like a princess photo shoot. <laughs> oh, you look so good. Look at his sword. <laughs> The photo shoot went so amazing. I, Hade and Mare, thank you great. so much. Thank you for guys. It's just such a beautiful, fun photo shoot. I'm not gonna be posting any of the pictures until the engagement shoot pics are done, being edited and, you know, working their magic. Um, they do an amazing job with their photos. If you guys wanna check out their Instagram, it's right here. It's Lost Land Collections. Mm -hmm. um, their Instagram is just so beautiful. And yeah, now Colin and I are gonna go grab some dinner. We're in like the most beautiful small town. There's like antique shops like everywhere. It reminds me of New Hope. It reminds me of Hallowbrook. Serendipity at the lake. That is so cute. Imagine living here. That's the brewing company. I love random little tricks. Hey guys. So it's the next day. I'm so mad I forgot to bring my vlog camera with me yesterday and that I had to vlog on an iPhone. But anyways, I ordered new shoes for fall and these are them. They're so cute. They're from ASOS. They're light blue and they're like this like Mary Jane loafer look. I love the platform heels. But anyways, I'm gonna put my camera down over here and we're gonna have a little bit of a chat. We are in the Gabaween season. I guess I, I did lie to you. Like, I, I, I think, you know, when you're going through ups and downs mentally, I, I think I, I speak too soon sometimes when my mind is overthinking. I guess you can say I have, I guess you could say I'm a little superstitious. My brain has been pretty up and down and superstition on its own. Like, have you ever, have you ever been like, oh, I don't want to wear this shirt because it reminds me of this time period and I'm scared that time period will repeat itself, like type of thing. That is kind of why I've shunned like seasonal videos. So my ideas are going to, be as they come and whatever makes me happy in that moment and this week making a fall video it made me so happy and so excited yeah to those people that are like really upset that i'm not doing festive videos i am doing festive videos your thoughts are always changing I feel like thoughts are always changing and back in june i was like there's no way i'm gonna celebrate halloween because i've been like shunning just seasons because i've just gone through way too much that i don't want to time stamp yeah. things anymore yeah oh Oh, thanks, sweetie. But yeah, I should probably head to film Nikki and Gabby, but I felt like explaining that because it just wasn't clear, and that's why I deleted that vlog because I didn't want people to watch that video and then be like, what? I just wanted to explain that to those of you who just didn't quite understand. So moral of the story, I am doing festive videos. I'm just not going to hold myself to a stake and follow traditions every single year because I love to live in the unknown. And I, I'm sorry, this is just like all over the place, but 
I'm gonna go, Nikki's waiting for me. Um, I just got done filming another video for you guys, but I just wanna pop in here and also update you on the whole wedding topic. Obviously, I haven't been talking about the wedding that much. As I told you guys before in the spring, I just don't want personal like information about the wedding planning to be available for everyone, including people who don't like me. So I made it private on my close friends Instagram stories. If you guys are interested in finding out like tea and BTS before I announce things publicly, then definitely go subscribe to my close friends Instagram. It's linked down below. I'm just gonna mention this right now, even not on close friends, like just right now publicly, that Colin and I are definitely heavily considering eloping. Um, I've heard it's common when people start planning a wedding, they realize how much time and effort goes into that. It can get pretty stressful and chaotic. And Colin and I, we mentioned before, if you guys watch our Snapchat show or my past YouTube videos that we always found like an eloping ceremony to be so romantic. Now, I'm not against having a nice reception with family and friends and um, and like a nice dinner or something like where I get to wear a wedding dress again. But as you know, like it, if you brides understand if you're a bride and you're just doing a lot of planning and if your heart wanted to do that originally and then you felt you were doing this big like ceremony thing for the sake of like friends and family, um, you understand how we're feeling because I want to please and satisfy my whole family, but at the same time, I want Colin and I to fulfill our romantic dreams. When Colin and I went to do our engagement photo shoot, we had the longest conversation. As you can imagine, the ride was like five hours to the castle and back, and we had the longest conversation about like our wedding and what we want, and we both vented to each other how we're feeling about like this whole big shebang wedding thing. There's not much to talk about our wedding planning because Everything keeps getting put off and put off and put off because Colin and I run such hectic, busy schedules. I feel like planning a wedding is for people who have the time and like my family doesn't even have time. I know last time I touched base on the wedding with you guys, it was in my video uh, Q&A where I mentioned like bridesmaids weren't really stepping in because it's like decently far away. But it's also to the point where we should start, you know, we should at least be deep into something, you know? The only thing we've really just done is book the venue and so Right now is the time where Colin and I can be like, do we do we do this or do we elope? And we're just, you know, romantically, we're just wanting the ceremony to be private between each other. So um, yeah, that is it for the updates for this fall video. I hope you guys are excited for Gabaween as much as we are. I love you guys so much. Stay tuned for Nikki and Gabby videos. I literally just filmed the cutest Nikki and Gabby video in the previous clip and then this clip like we've been filming so much but yeah i love you guys so much and i'll see you in my next fancy vlog